Well, Mr. Harper, I'm sorry to tell you this, but your sperm count is extremely low. Your chances for impregnating your wife are very slim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to him. I'm sorry. Well, maybe we could adopt. Adoption's cool. We can get an Asian. No offense. I'm not Asian. I want to have a baby, Hank. Let's just hear our options. Well, Mrs. Harper, you could become pregnant in spite of your husband's low-quality sperm, but the chances are remote. The good news is that Hank's a strong candidate for a special procedure. It's experimental, but our results have been excellent so far. We'll do whatever you recommend, Doctor. Wait, we will? Melissa, I love you, but it's my sperm. It's more like it's our sperm. It's your call. Let's hear more about it. Using a third small incision here. The tubes are expanded temporarily. This allows more sperm to pass through and minimizes the surgical impact on Hank's penis. Well, you said temporarily. That's right. After a few days, the tubes shrink and everything returns to normal. That's why it's minimally invasive. So for those few days? A lot of sex? As much as possible. If we have to, we have to. I actually feel pretty good. You hear dick surgery and you think, man, dick surgery. But then, it's actually just like, yeah, dick surgery. I think we should start in the kitchen. Oh, or the linen closet. It's so soft in there. Oh, stop it. I can't just get turned on like that. I need to get in the mood. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Are you ready yet? It would help if you took your shirt off. Give me your spur. I feel like I'm being mugged. Shh, don't talk. Sorry. Let it go. Okay. Okay. Stop that. Just shh, shh, shh. What the hell? What is your mother doing here? Can I come in? Uh, it's, it's not a good time. It's an emergency. Yeah, okay, go, go to the front door. Fuck. So, what's the emergency? You look the same. Mom lost her job. Oh, I'm sorry. Quiznos? Chipotle. Hmm. So what happened? Downsizing kind of thing? Maybe, but... Mostly I'm being accused of rape. That sucks. Mom, how could that happen? There was this guy there, Raul. You know how I get around Spanish men. I couldn't keep my hands off him. You didn't really rape him, did you, Mom? No, honey. Raul's just being a pussy. Okay, well, if you need me, I'll be in the bathroom, weeping. I don't know how you can confine yourself to just one guy. Especially a boring, stupid one. She's staying on the couch. I know you don't get along, but Don't I... get along! She tried to poison me at our wedding! I can't believe you're still bringing that up. Like, she gets weird when she drinks. You know that. And I, I can't send her home now. She's being accused of a felony. I had surgery. On my dick. What about our weekend? I was gonna fuck you in the linen closet. We are not conceiving a child in the fucking linen closet. I never agreed to that. Now look. We can still do this. We just have to be quiet. Did you take your shirt 
fish. Is everything okay? I heard noises. Everything's fine, Mom. Go to sleep. Oh, I don't sleep much at my age. I'm reading a great book about a conquistador with a huge dick. Eddie, it's Hank. You know how you said I should call you if I ever have a problem? How does a tiny woman rape someone? That's not the point. She's gonna be there when I get home, waiting, listening for the slightest sound of penis touching vagina, like this. Should have gotten dick surgery. Now, so what if you shoot blanks? You keep shooting them. Eddie, look at me. What do I have? A shit job, shit little house. I've got Melissa and that's it. And I don't care if she's mean to me sometimes or, or she won't take off her shirt for sex. I love her. And I want to have a baby with her. And our only chance to do it is this weekend. So are you going to help me or not? She won't take off her shirt during sex? You're supposed to be the idea guy. I am. Okay, um, Mom, we're having this meeting to talk about your situation. Have you spoken to your lawyer? I'm sort of between lawyers right now. But what about Pablo Ramirez? You used him for years. Well, after I fucked him, we decided not to do business together. Well, we could help you find a new lawyer. I think I'm going to lay low here for a while and see if this whole thing doesn't just blow over. Yeah, what the hell? It's just rape. Well, your mom, that, that might be tough for us because, well, Hank and I have something that we need to tell you. Mom, Hank and I are trying to... Oh, my God! Hank, call 911! It's okay. Oh, my God, Mom! Melissa, Mom. it's okay. Everything's fine. I drugged her. Ah! God damn it! Calm down. Just a couple of quaaludes, Hank. Melissa's a little sensitive. Fuck! All right, look, you can't have sex while she's in the house, so you just have to get her out even for an hour. I know, but she never wants to leave. So we make it so she can't say no. What kind of stuff does she like? Oh, let's see. Uh, books, soap operas. She's into a lot of Spanish shit. Spanish? Yeah, well, Spanish magazines, Spanish men. Spanish men, that's it. What? We set her up on a date. A date? She is kind of a slut. A date with a hot Spanish guy. How could she say no? This might actually work. Do you know any Spanish guys? No, but I have Craigslist on my phone. Are you here? Sounds done, Hank. Keep your mouth shut. Someone there? So you're the guy who wants me to fuck his mother-in-law? Uh, uh, yeah. Night in the town's 300 bucks. 250 if she's hot. 300 sounds about right. Yeah. We don't even need to fuck her completely. I just need to get her out of the house so that I can get my wife pregnant. He had dick surgery. Cool. I'm gonna go fuck my wife. Mom's okay. Yep. She threw up all the pills, and Sandy from work is taking her to the dog track so she can be amongst her kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you told her not to let Mom drink, right? I am having the best time with you. Oh my god, this is my song. Parabalabamba. Parabalabamba. Se necesito una poca de gracias. Una poca de gracias.
Yes, Tommy Party. Arriba, arriba. Arriba, arriba. I love you too. I won't push for the linen closet, but you know I'm thinking about it. Shut the fucking music off! I am so turned on right now. Oh, sorry. Shit. Man, he fucked us. I don't have 50 grand. All right, relax, Hank. Everything's gonna be fine, all right? Just give Melissa a coil and meet me in 30 minutes. What's the plan? Fake money. Okay, and? Semi-automatic handguns. Hair trigger, low recoil. Guns? This is your plan? Where'd you even get those? Costco. Look, Manny's a streetwalker, Hank. A Craigslist whore. He doesn't want a shootout. He wants some quick cash, and we show him we're serious, and he backs down. Look, this is crazy. I've never even held a gun. They didn't think you would show. Throw me the money. Let it go first. Nice try. First the briefcase, then the little bitch goes free. Okay, ready? Janet, run! Why would I run when you find a good man, you hold on to him? Oh, this is getting exciting. Drop the gun, Manny. It's two against one. You want to die here tonight, cabron? I love it when he speaks Spanish. Silencio, puta. Like that. Shut up. You think you can shoot me? You're nothing but a pussy. You can't even get your wife pregnant. What? That's right. Hank had to have surgery on his dick just so he could knock up your daughter. Hank? Janet, he's lying. Everything's going to be OK, I promise. I wouldn't be so sure. Ow! You shot me! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Just like in speed! I'm sorry. You're sorry. You shot me. Hey, you poisoned me. Fuck you. Hey, it's over. Manny's gone. We won. Is what he said true? That you and Melissa are... Thank you for not shooting me in the pussy. Fine. Hank set me up with a hooker and then he shot me. What, Hank? Uh, he had to. It was the only way. Your husband is a hero. It was just like in speed. Are you sure you're going to be okay? She's going to be just fine. We're going to take extra special care of her. We're just going to run some quick tests, if I could have it for about five minutes. Did you say... Five minutes? Wait, no, wait, wait. You're going to be a great dad.
Mom, we want you to meet your granddaughter, Janet Marion Harper. <laughs> Janet? We wanted to name her after you. I am so touched. I'm so happy for you. It's amazing. We wanted to name our baby after you. This is going to be a beautiful family. Am I the only one who finds this unrealistic? I've got all this energy pent up inside this heart of me. 